Hey there, Gemini. Welcome to Hill and Guys to Roll. This is your March 2021 love, um, sorry, bonus reading for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus Suns. Let's see what we have going on for Gemini. We have Oracle cards. You are able to discern answers and guidance from yourself for yourself and others. Okay, so some of you guys might be readers, or you should start reading. That the oracle cards are coming up for you so you'll be a good reader so if you want you should really look into this and see if you want to pursue something like that time to decide make a decision based on your heart's true desire so whatever you want to do it's the time to decide on something you might end up getting a, a couple of cards coming up with the twos to say decision time here let's see what happens but it's time to decide on something okay what else do we have here for Gemini we have empathy I am open to seeing both sides of the situation that would help with reading these cards because you have to see both sides of things let's see friendship I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason okay so somebody's coming up as a friendship here that is very important to you at this time maybe they need your help may they need you to read their cards for them Maybe they're looking for answers and you can provide them. Okay, what else do we have here? Far away places. Get ready for new horizons. Ooh, you might be traveling. You might be going somewhere. And I feel like when you do the cards, we go away to far away places, don't we? Okay, here we go. Passion and pleasure. Savor your life. Ooh, sounds like something exciting is coming in. You're going to faraway places and you're going to feel a lot of passion and pleasure there. Okay, let's see what else we have going on for Gemini. This looks very exciting, Gemini. Let's see. What else do we have going on? We have, ooh, the cherry. Yes, definitely movement. Things moving fast. And again, this could be traveling. You also, <coughs> some of you might be buying a new vehicle. I mean, that's where you're going to go traveling. Let's see. Ooh, the devil. Okay, Capricorn energy. Then we have, see, I knew a two was going to come because you have to make that decision card. Time to decide. So you have a choice between two different paths here. And then we have the nine cups. Something's going to make you really happy. And you have the seven of wands. So if you had to compete for something, you came up ahead. You won out. And it's going to make you really happy. But we'll have to clarify see why the devil here. And then on the bottom we have Ace of Wands. Yeah, there's some new begin. Something you'd be very passionate about. Something exciting. But we did have passion and pleasure. So this card, if I pick it up, goes very well with the Ace of Wands. There's a lot of passion here. So, let's see. New beginning, something exciting happening now. Let's see. The chariot. Why is the chariot here for Gemini? What is this all about? Decision time again. You have to make a decision when the chariot comes soon. King of Pentacles. Wow. Now that could be a Taurus, a Capricorn, or a Virgo. Doesn't have to be. This could be your energy doing very well. Finances being very stable. Someone you depend on. A good boss. You're moving towards something here. You're going quickly towards this energy, or this person's coming towards you real quick. They could be an um, earth sign coming towards you really quickly, wanting to make you an offer. Let's see why the devil's here. Now, of course, the devil's an earth sign. Could be a, a Capricorn. Maybe it's not even, it's just representing a Capricorn. Let's see, though. See if we get some info on this. Let's get some clarification on this, please. Ooh, the world. Okay. Something completed. Something ending for something new to begin. This could also be someone coming back around. Someone want to start over again with you. Which could be a north sign. Okay, why is a two of wands here? Why is a two of wands here? Ooh, because whatever, whichever path you take, it's going to bring you a lot of finances. 
your finances look really good here with this completion this new beginning whatever it is it's going to bring in lots of money you got the ten of pentacles here which is an awesome card and then you also have nine cups let's clarify the nine cups I really feel like you know this is right under faraway places you're getting your wish fulfillment by traveling okay we have whoop then here we go decision time choices balancing things out someone has to make a decision let's see why do we have the seven of wands here why do we have the seven of wands Ooh, ace of pentacles wow yeah your money looks really good finances look good a new start this could be a new job a new business a big a nice offer though it's not a puny offer whatever this is it might be coming from this king of pentacles here making it this could be um someone offering you a job something coming in quickly though and also um we have cancer here with the chariot energy so so far we have um taurus capricorn virgo cancer capricorn again yeah you something look good and then we have the high priestess here so this could be uh, libra or um Taurus. We have something. Someone's very in tune, very intuitive. Energy. There's something magical about this. There's a very um mystical, magical energy, I would say, I feel. Secrets. There's some kind of secret. Let's see what else we have here. Hmm. Sure I didn't drop any cards there. Okay. Let's see. Let's clarify this King of Pentacles with this chariot. Someone wants to work together, team. Put the work in. Maybe they, if this is someone from the past, because we do have the world card, someone could be coming back in that was in your life before, and maybe they didn't contribute. They didn't work as a team. They want to do the partnership now. They're willing to put the work in. Again, with this um, Ten of Pentacles, too. They're willing to do the work. Maybe they want to balance things out. They weren't balanced before. Okay, let's clarify this devil with this the world card here. Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, someone wants to nurture this relationship. They want to see it grow. They they feel there's a lot of potential here. They want to bring this back around. They were probably not a nice person before. And now they want to tell you they changed. They want to put the work in. And they've been thinking a lot about you reminiscing thinking of the good times it makes them very sad though because they don't have you in their life right now and they want to change that but they're not sure if you're going to accept their cup though they want to offer your cup but yeah, you might not some of you will and some of you won't some of you should go and some of you ah uh, here we go the empress again or the high priest empress empress I said, why did i say high priest okay the empress so this This is someone that is able to create quite a bit here. You're very fertile too. So if you don't want to be pregnant or get someone pregnant, be very careful. Let's see if you're, you know, partying too much here or something. But someone wants to balance things out. Wow. Okay. Let's see. Four of Swords. Yeah, someone really thinks a lot about you. They know there's competition for you. But they dream about you. I think they, they, they meet up with you in the fifth dimension You're in the dream state. And here's the Knight of Pentacles. So, again, we have a, a Earth sign. Very strong Earth sign coming towards you. they very stable. They And they might be the slowest Knight in the deck, but they're the ones that you can count on. They're 
financially secure. They're they're grounded. They're very earthy. You know, being an earth sign, they like. Uh, I'm feeling this energy. I'm feeling for this one person that's coming in really strong. Is they're very like they like going camping. They like being outside, the outdoors type. They like to um, they like to get their hands dirty. They like to work with wood. Might be a carpenter. They just um. It's just like I'm I'm seeing someone like going over the smooth finish of wood that they probably sanded and really got it down to you know when they you start with the sandpaper as a rougher grade and get it down to where you can actually like take a paper bag and get it so smooth they're very meticulous which would be a pentacle like a Virgo is very meticulous could be a Virgo but I'm feeling the energy is very they like the, the smoothness of wood. It's just something that, if you know anybody that's like that, they really, they love wood. <laughs> it's just, um, they like working with wood. They're, they're a carpenter. Okay, let's see. What else do we have here with Gemini? Well, these are flying. Okay. So we have the Six of Cups, and the one that flipped out was a Four of Wands, and I'm not sure if it's upright or not, so um, I'm going to read it this way, though. This is someone coming back from the past. Now, if it's upright, you know, they, they want to have a commitment with you. If, if it wasn't, it could be that it was this way. And that means they're not sure if they can have that. But they definitely want that. I'm feeling the energy is they definitely want a, a serious commitment with you. That they, they want something. Something this, this is definitely feeling like someone from the past coming back in. That they want a new start with you. Okay. Let's see what else we can get here. Yeah, they think a lot about you. Whoa. Things are moving here. Let's see. The higher thing could be a Taurus energy here. They want a commitment, though. I would take this as being upright or not. Yeah, definitely that they want this to be upright. If it wasn't, they want to work on this to bring this. A commitment, marriage, moving in together. You're their soulmate. You're you're their happiness. Five of Swords. They're not sure how to go about this, though. They want to cut out the competition if there is any. And I think there is. Okay. The High Priestess again. Yeah, they're, um, they might be very intuitive. They might, they might, you guys might really be connecting. When you have the like, High Priestess and the Hierophant, I think you two are both on a very spiritual path uh, um you connect in the fifth dimension you guys do meet up and we have the knight of wands here this could be aries leo or sagittarius but this is also someone that comes in quickly it also it's also considered the playboy playgirl of the suit here of the of all the knights but a lot of passion I'm not feeling so much as a playboy, playgirl type as a lot of passion for you. Wow. Okay, I want to clarify this. Five of Swords. Cherry, yeah, they're coming quick. They're worried about losing you to someone else. Cancer energy. But they're moving quickly. Once once they make up their mind or do what... Something has to... Something has to fall into place for them. For them to do this. And... Unless they... They might rush in a little too hastily. Because they do have the Knight of Wands. He... He could come in quickly. And then you have the Chariot. So this can be moving quickly. And, and they might fumble if they move too quick. They know that. They don't want to mess this up, but they're coming back from the past. They want to make sure that they do it right. Now we have here Eight of Swords, but they're stuck. They are definitely stuck. They're stuck in their head about you. They can't get you out of their mind. They don't know which way to turn. 
Whoa, Gemini. Well, there's definitely someone from the past come back. I hope you're ready for them. But, you know, you always have... It's up to you. You know, they want you, but you do not have to take them. It's, you know, f you have free will here. Do what's right for you. But there is a lot of love and passion from this person. Well, Gemini, I hope you liked your reading. Please like, share, and subscribe. It really helps me to ch stay on um, YouTube here. And I really appreciate it. I love you guys. Um, hope to see you again real soon. Thank you.